What's going on Savage Life family? Today I'm going to be teaching you how to use margin of profit swing trading on Robinhood. Before we go ahead and do smash that wonderful like button as it helps with the YouTube algorithm. And uh, smash the subscribe, let's reach 10K. Let's go ahead and hit this intro. All right, Savage Life family. So I wanted to tell you guys first that when swing trading, you should best focus on one swing trade at a time. That way all your attention is on that and you're not focused on too many things and that way you can get more work done. Pretty much you wanna focus on large cap companies that have a steady uptrend growth in the past five years to a year. That way you get to look at the graph and analyze the direction the company is heading. Now large caps, tend to have less room for improvement as you'd say but they have lower risk due to the large market caps so you are at a less risk to lose all your money and let's be honest you want to keep the risk as low as possible especially when you're playing with money that's not yours billions and billions and billions and billions so there you have it so for this swing trade example i'm going to be using square typically margin on your account is matched with what you have so if I have $2,000 in cash, Robinhood Go will match that with another $2,000 available for margin. The $1,000 that they give you initially is not a uh, charged interest, but every dollar on top of that is charged a yearly interest of 5%. Depending on the stock's volatility, meaning of how much it moves, brokerages will put a limit on how much you use, you're able to invest with margin depending on how big your account is but let's just say i put three thousand dollars i use three thousand dollars of margin to buy square at the beginning of the month which was at 128 dollars they have a maintenance margins fee of 40 percent which means position cannot go beneath 40 percent of what i initially put in and if it does i will receive a margin call which means i have to deposit more money to raise over the 40 percent cap or they liquidate my entire position and i end up losing on all of that trade so if i have three thousand dollars in this position 40 percent of that is twelve hundred dollars so if my market value which is this right here goes under twelve hundred dollars i will receive a margin call and sometimes brokerages don't even give you a margin call because you're supposed to know this in their contract so they're in no obligation to do so but it would be nice you know if uh they do do so so be sure to keep that in mind when calculating your margin maintenance and by all means make sure you have a stop loss if it does drop below that because you do not want your position to get liquidate liquidated and you lose out on everything so for the five percent interest that they charge over a thousand dollars we're talking about pennies here which will add up if you're doing swing trades in the long run I'll go ahead and run the calculations with you right now but basically if I'm borrowing three thousand dollars the first thousand dollars is no interest since I'm paying five dollars a month there's your interest Robin Hood so that, that's it stop charging me but the other two thousand dollars is five percent divided by 360 days, because that's how many days is in a year, and it's a yearly interest fee. So that comes out to 28 cents per day. Now, if you guys wanna write this down in your notebook like I do, 0 0.0001388 multiplied by how much you're borrowing is how much interest you'll be paying a day, depending on how long you're holding that position for. So, if we got into square at 128 and we plan on holding it for a month for a swing trade, which is now at $150, $155, we ended up getting charged almost $6 in interest for holding that position. But the plus side is, since I was able to borrow the money because since I didn't have the money to get into the position initially, we made a 20% gain in a month so I was able to sell out at Square for $4,340 with the $3,000 margin I used. So that's a $1,340 gain minus the $6 interest that you got charged. So that is how you use interest on Robinhood. And 
it can be tricky at times, but as long as you have these numbers down, you'll be able to do these easy calculations. Just please, I suggest if you're just getting into swing trading to stick to large cap companies, you're lower at risk and you get some practice in. As well as the news is your best friends, ladies and gentlemen, so you have to know what's going on with the companies that you are investing in. Like Square is currently making huge innovations, especially with their cash app, where Bitcoin purchasing has gone through the roof. I explained that in a previous video. If you haven't seen that, make sure to check it out or like Microsoft who plans on acquiring TikTok. So there's huge swing trades going on for big market tech giants and there's lots of profits to be made. So recap over everything we just did. When using your margin, you wanna keep the maintenance margin. You wanna keep the maintenance over that certain percentage of the market value. So it's all in your market value, which tells you how much liquidity you have in the company. And also keep in mind, a $2,000 borrowed position is 28 cents a day. So over time that adds up. So after 30 days, you have $8.04 in interest on top of the $5 that you're paying monthly for Robinhood. So that's about $13. So if you're planning on holding a position for a long uh, time, make sure that is definitely worth it to counteract the interest that you're being charged on top of the possibility of you losing your position. So there you have it, quick and simple to the point. You guys, let me know what stocks you plan on swing trading. I'll definitely take a look at it and do a quick analysis for you if you'd like. And if you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button and subscribe for more uh, updates. Thank you and have a good day.